Joy in the city. Joy in your life. Joy in your family. And joy everywhere in Jesus' name. GCK Authority has announced the next level move. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria, the Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for Youth, Young Adults and Professionals, titled Recharge to Excel, December 27, 2022, at 0600 hours GMT, all broadcasts live on satellite, radio, television, and all our social media platforms with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name again for bringing us here. We're grateful for the love for scriptures. We're grateful that you've given us such a concern that we will not be ignorant of the truth concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that today as we come before you, you will teach us and instruct us in the way that is right in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank the Lord who has been faithful and who has brought us in here today and has kept us alive so that we can know more of the mind of God. As I said some weeks ago, the study of the Bible in depth is so very essential and this church takes it very seriously because it makes the believers strong in the law. There is no book like the Bible. There is no book that has all the details, all the information, all the revelation of the mind of God, like the Bible, the Word of God. And that is why we should study the book, meditate on what we study, believe what we study, act on what we study, because there is no other book like this Bible we have. There is no book that tells us about God and about Christ, our Lord, our Savior, the only begotten Son of God, like the Bible does. There is no book that tells us about the revelation of the mind of God, its demand for righteous living, the necessity of holy living before we can see his face in eternity. That's why we need to concentrate, study the word of God, that we may be approved unto God who has brought us into this world. There is no book that shows us the supernatural strength by which we can serve God, live for God, and walk in the way of God, like the Bible. That is why we give time to the study of the Word of God, the Bible. In the Bible, we read about men and women like us. 
Nino bibe ni nyaka ni kwa lokunrin ati lobirin bi eniyan bi tiwa. Our problems of life like we do. Ti won ni wa ala ninu aye bi tiwa. And yet by dependence upon God we are able to rely completely upon God and live a life pleasing unto God. Sugbon ni pa oro Olorun ti won le gbe igbe aye ki won ki o sin mi ki won ki o si gbe keni Olorun patapata. Also in the Bible we read about rich men, prospered men, privileged men, educated men that denied the Lord, went away from the Lord and they suffer for it in life and eternity, warning us that if we neglect the Bible and the message of the Bible, that doom and judgment will be awaiting us. Back on our yaka, we know Bibeli, I want Laurel, I want Alice, we know Aye, I want Maui, we know Aye, I want Bajuma, we know Aye, we want to call Laurel, we see it, we want to see Doju call it, we want to see Aye, we want to see Jackie, we want to see Aye, we want to see Aye, we want to see Aye, we study the Bible because ignorance of the Bible will lead to judgment and damnation. If we are ignorant of the message of the Bible and we know all the other aspects and species of knowledge in the world, we will be damned. On the other hand, if we have knowledge of the truth and message of the Bible, even if we're ignorant of every other thing outside the Bible, we're ignorant of science, we're ignorant of philosophy, we're ignorant of current affairs, we're ignorant of every other knowledge of the world, but we know the Bible. We know the message of the word of God. We will be saved and spend eternity with Almighty God. Ni wa ni hakeji ewe. Ti abani oye oro bibeli. Ise ron se ti bibeli fi fun araye. Ti oye le ye ba ye wa. Tu bani oto si jekwe awa ya kuruntu. Ala e lo ye ni pa e ma e jele ti ta ye nsi. Ta bi okbo ori e ni ya ta bi ma ki ma towa ni o de a ye ye. Tu bati a ni oye bibeli. That's why I will plead with you to bring other people along with you, especially members of the church who come on Sunday, but they do not think it's important to come on Monday. Bring them along because ignorance of the word of God will spell their doom and damnation. So just to enjoy a simile, and the woman was see a chairman was see the jockey to ban woke a car be belly, ye on Joseph Pataki. Lie low ye a car be belly, you're your little pain when you see Gayra ye. We're still in the epistle of Paul to the Colossians. You know, epistle to Paul is a war, Colossian Yasua. Already we have studied from verse one in chapter one. All through to verse 25. Ni bayi ati keko lati oriki ni lati eseki ni si eseki kano di ni ogban. And already last week we dealt with the ministry of God appointed minister. Ni ose ti oko ja aso ni pa ite ran se a wan ojusi olon ron ti olon ron yon. Today verses 26 and 29 will still be dealing with the ministry of God-appointed ministers. From the time of Paul's conversion to Christ, you will know that he began to labor according to the call of God upon his life. At all times and in all places, he lost no time in laboring for Christ's kingdom. At this time, he was in prison at Rome. And even though he was in the prison and people would have think that in that uh, deprivation or in that affliction he will forget the labor of for the kingdom of god no he never forgot he still continued laboring for the lord in that condition where he was he had never been to the church at Colosse. But Epaphras, the faithful minister who had labored fervently in at Colosse, had brought the information to him concerning the church at Colosse. Hearing about the church at Colosse, there are positive things that Paul the Apostle heard 
There are negative things that Paul the Apostle had. Nipa ero yi, ti o gbo ni nu ijo ko lo se, a wan kan ti o je oro ko ba ku gbe, ti o wa to gbo ni pa re, o wa, a wan kan to si mu eti eniyan, eme eniyan do to gbo o wa ba kan na. On the positive things that he heard, he praised the Lord for them, he prayed for them. Nipa o re re ti o gbo ni pa wan, o yin Olorun logo ni pa wan, o si to gba dura fun wan. On the negative things that he heard, he wrote these things down to instruct them to warn them, to teach them, so that they will know right from wrong. Nipa on ko ba kun be, on ti ko dona, ti o gwa nipa wan, o ko yin ti anka ye, o ko si wan, la fi ki lo fun wan, ti wan ti o le mojo na ti wan yo ba. The negative things that he heard is that false prophets had appeared at Colossae. They were teaching heresies. They were distorting the truth. O wun to lo di ti o gwa nipa e jona ni pe, a wan wo le ke ti para han ni Colossae. Ti wan kon ni ni e kwe ki ye, ti wan si mba o ti to je. They were teaching legalism. They were teaching asceticism. They were teaching mysticism in their effort to make the people know the Lord more. But Paul the Apostle said, No, the fullness of knowledge is in Christ Jesus. And here Paul the Apostle teaches the Colossians the plan of redemption and the truth concerning the person of Christ. Last week I already dealt with four aspects of features of the ministry. If you were here last Monday, you will remember that I spoke about the source of the ministry that is God. And I showed you up how Paul the Apostle was appointed by God, ordained by God, placed in position by God himself. And he emphasized the source of ministry is God. Number two, I spoke to you about the spirit of the ministry, the joy of the Lord in ministering the gospel. Number three, the suffering of the ministry. And I showed you very clearly that we have been called upon not only to believe in Christ, but to suffer for his name's sake. And that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. And that if we suffer as a Christian, we should glorify God in this. And that as we suffer like this, we shall count this as light affliction because there is a weight of glory that rests upon us. Number four, we spoke about the scope of the ministry to fulfill the entirety of the word of God. In the study we have today, Paul is dealing with uh, four other features of the ministry. Number one, the subject of the ministry. Number two, the style of the ministry. Number three, the sum of the ministry. Number four, the strength of the ministry. Let's look at it from verse 26, Colossians chapter 1. Even the mystery which has been hid from the ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to the same. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And when it your Lord fair, that if you are right in the ye, Larry, I want to pay him up, he is a Christian in no ye, you let you go. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. And it ya one was to read, Tian Kilo for Lukulu Penia, Tiasin called Lukulu Penia, and in no go go. 
Yale mo lupu lupu eni awa ni iwa fi pe ninu Kristi Jesu. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh mightily in me. E yi ti e minse la la, ti mo fi nji jaka di fun fe lu, daga bi fi agbara re, ti fi agbara si te gidi gidi ninu mi. All these words are important to every member of the Church of the Living God. Bo gbo oran wan yi, lo se pataki fu bo gbo a wan malo, a wan malo ron ni jolo ron ala yi. They are very essential for those who are aspiring to labor for Christ in the ministry. It is compulsory knowledge for those already in the ministry and they're endeavoring to labor and to strive in the preaching of the gospel. Everyone that intends to be an effective minister for the Lord Jesus Christ and not read over these verses and just overlook them because they are very essential concerning the ministry God has appointed us for. Let's look at them one by one. Paul is the subject of the ministry. Our students do go to school. If they are going to pass any exam, they must understand what subject they need to learn, what subject they need to master, and what subject they will need to write out as they are going to take their examination. Ministers of the gospel must know if we are going to be effective for the Lord what subject we should preach or present in the ministry to bring people to the Lord and to make people matured in Christ. Church members too ought to know what subjects are indispensable for us to learn, for us to know, for us to believe and accept and base our lives upon if we are going to live lives that will fulfill the purpose of Christ in calling us in the church. There are many people that go to church. There are many preachers that preach in church. There are many religious denominations that are raised up. There are many signboards pointing to buildings as places of worship. What subject are the ministers in those places of worship? What subjects are they preaching? What messages are they giving? What are they making known to the people? Is it what Paul the Apostle said is compulsory for us to preach if we are going to lead people to the kingdom of God? There are many people that are right track. There are many people that print literature. There are many people that give messages either on radio or in cassettes or over the television. Is it the subject of the ministry? The message we are expected to give that all these people are giving? Look at it from verse 25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given unto me for you to fulfill the word of God. Then he qualifies it in verse 26. He said, even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is revealed, but now is made manifest, but now is taught very clearly and plainly to his saints. Let's look at 
ti abi han gban gban nisisin ti o han kedere nisisin yin fun awon eyan mi ma re Paul the apostle was talking about the message that he preaches Paul wa apostle nso nipa awon iwa si ti nwa the word of god or olorun in verse 26 he calls it the mystery ni ese ikerin de ni ogbon o pe ni ohun ijinle when you see that in the new testament it means something which has been hidden before but now is revealed. Ti o ba re eleyi ninu ma je mu tuntun o nso nipa nkan ti o ti para sin tele tele sugbon ti awuja de bayi. There are three areas of mystery. Listen very carefully. Ipa meta ni ohun ijinle yi pe si te ti sile dada. Number 1 is something secret which God has never revealed to anyone and which God will never reveal to anyone. O nkan wa ti o je ti o to para sin ti Olorun ko ti si paya hanin keni ri in Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29 The secret things belong unto the Lord our God but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law that is the first level of mystery. Whatever God has kept secret, which he has not revealed to us, which he has not revealed to anyone, the word of God says, do not worry about that. And only take the things that are revealed in the word of God unto all. Onko ti Olorun ba ti pa ma fun wa ti o pa ma fun wa ti ko fi eni keni ti ko si ni gbiyan ju lati fi han eni keni oro Olorun so wi pe ti o eleyi sile ti o gba e ti o ti fi han. The second area of mystery ipa ikeji ti o wi ijinle is what God has kept secret from other people but he has revealed it to some chosen Selected people of a particular generation. Oh, na ni onti oti pi pa ma fu a wan kan ti o fara se fu a wan kan subma ti o wa si pa ya re fu a wan kan a wan yon fe a wan ti o yon fe. Psalm twenty five verse fourteen. Ori da bi di ori kanu de ni ogbon ese ekeni la. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, and He will show them His covenant. Asiri oluwa wa pe lu a wan ti o beru re yo si pi wan ma. In the Old Testament, God revealed His mind, His covenant to the prophets and to people like Moses, especially revealed to them, and then they were now to reveal to the Israelites. Proverbs 3, verse 32. Proverbs chapter 3. And in verse 32. For the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. And so even in the Old Testament, they knew about some mystery. Things that were revealed to these people of God which were not revealed to the Gentiles. This is why we are told in Romans chapter 3 verse 2. Let me read to you from verse 1. What advantage then as the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Nje anfani ti ani ti ju sabi ti ni ere ilakiko ti po lona gogo eki ni ni tori pe awan lia fi oro lorun le lowo. But now it's telling us in this passage we are reading in Colossians that there is a kind of mystery that was not even shown or revealed to the people of the Old Testament which is now revealed from the time of Christ. If you read the New Testament, you will discover the mystery concerning godliness. You will see the mystery concerning the church. You will see that the, even the rapture was a mystery 
to the children of Israel. And you will see eventually the destruction of Babylon is also a mystery for the children of Israel. The particular subject of the ministry that Paul the Apostle calls the mystery here is that God will become incarnate in Christ and this Christ will bring Gentiles into the kingdom and this Christ will live even in the Gentiles the hope of glory. That was not revealed to the children of Israel in the Old Testament. That the Gentiles will be fellow heir of the kingdom of God and that the Gentiles will become the bride of Christ. That was a mystery to them. And it says, this is the subject of the ministry, the message of the ministry. Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest unto his saints. And ye the false prophets that came to Colosse were talking about another kind of mystery. They were talking about a kind of mystery, uh, mystery that will need fasting and fasting and fasting or asceticism or legalism or mysticism before they will be able to get into this hidden knowledge. Paul the Apostle said, there's no other mystery. The mystery that is so important is that God became man in Christ. And Christ now comes to dwell in us and is the hope of glory. And it is this mystery we need to preach. God incarnate in Christ. He suffered for us on the cross of Calvary. To give us all the riches of his glory. Eventually for us to open our heart to him. And Christ to enter in. Christ to dwell within us. And to live within us. To so reconcile us to God. That we live in him. He lives on all in us. The hope of glory. Look at verse 27. To whom God will make known what is the riches of his glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. What is that mystery? Which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And when it is the children of Israel never thought about God coming to live inside them. When they knew about the presence of God at Mount Sinai, they ran back that this God will not be so near to speak to them. They never thought that man and God can be so reconciled that God will live inside us. It was a mystery. And this is a mystery that is the message of the gospel. Look at Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 3. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote a four in few words. What is still referring to as a mystery here? Let us go on to verse 4. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Verse 5, which in other ages 
was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto, uh, unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Look at that mystery in verse 6 that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Paul the apostle was telling the Colossians that when Christ comes into you, the fullness of the riches of Christ and of God will come into you. That is the mystery. Paul Apostolin so fun awon eniyan yi pe nigbati Christi ba wa sinu re gogo ekun rere Olorun ati ti Christi yo ma gbe ninu re eleje jinle Colossians chapter 3 chapter 2 verse 3 Colossae ori keji ese keta in whom are he all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge inu eni ti ati ti gogo isura ogbon ati ti mo pamasi This is a mystery that all that we ever will need all that we ever will need to know all that we need to take us to the very presence of God and to make us whatever God wants to make us is hidden in Christ. And when Christ comes into you, that is the hope of glory. And these, the uh, Hebrew people or the Jewish people, they never knew that God could so enrich the lives and the uh, spiritual lives of the Gentiles in such a way to them, it was a hidden thing, it was a mystery. Let's look at verse 27 again, Colossians chapter 1. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And when it is the hope of glory, if you study the Old Testament very well, you will see that sin separates from God. And you will see that even the best of men, of the majority in the Old Testament, they never knew that they could be so reconciled to God, become so much partakers of the nature of God, that Christ, God will be in them, they will be in God. And it was a hidden thing to them. God in you. Christ in you. The Holy Spirit in you. Let us look at what the word of God has to say. In Ephesians chapter 3. From verse 16. That he will grant you. According to the riches of his glory. To be strengthened with might. By his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. Christ coming into you, dwelling in you, living in you, dwelling in your heart by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. With all the privileges of the Old Testament people, all that God could do with them, or for them, is to send an angel to go with them, not the angel living in them, to send an angel to go with them side by side and take them to the land of promise. But here God sent, not an angel, Christ, the only begotten Son of God, to come and dwell in you. This is the hope of glory. It was a mystery to the Old Testament people. But today, we are 
Christ, the one that is master of all circumstances, when temptation comes, Christ in you will make you to overcome. Christ that has finished or finalized the same problem on the cross of Calvary, when the setting sin is about to trip you and to trigger and to make you fall, Christ in you will strengthen you to overcome. Christ, the light of the world, when darkness is about to overshadow you, the light of the world will be turned on in your life and you'll be able to know the right way to go. Christ, Christ, the power of God. When human weakness is about to take over and prevail in your life, Christ, the power of God, will so energize you and strengthen you in the inner man by his spirit, and you'll be able to live an overcoming life. Christ, the power of God. Christ is the word personified. Christ who has all the knowledge concerning God, concerning the future and everything. When ignorance is about to make you deviate, the knowledge of Christ in you will lead you in the right way so as not to be discouraged and to go in the way of the law. Christ is the that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. What a great mystery. Hidden from the Old Testament people, revealed now to us in the New Covenant. John chapter 14 Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it fears him not neither knoweth him but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you that's the mystery Ani emi o ti but 23 Jesus answered and said unto him if a man love me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make her a boat with him Jesus Jesus down o si fun pe bi eni kan ba feran mi yo pa oro mi mo baba mi yo si feran re awa o si to wa a o si se ibugbe wa pelu re the father the son the holy spirit coming to dwell in man that was a mystery to the children of Israel in the old testament baba omo ati emi mi mo ki won si jo wa nisisin lati ma gbe ninu eniyan First, second Corinthians chapter six verse sixteen. Corinthians chapter six verse sixteen. Second Corinthians chapter six verse sixteen. Corinthians chapter six verse sixteen. The latter part of the verse says, "As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. I will be there. I will be their God. They shall be my people." Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Christ Christ liveth in me. Christ That's the mystery for the children of Israel. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the face of the Son of God, 
who loved me and gave himself for me. We were to most who are lying in Wara, more were lying in Nuit that Gomor Loru, and it will pay me to see you on Tikara for me. Paul the Apostle said this is subject of the ministry. Paul Apostle is so we pay lay in the Coco and Sarah and now. The message of the ministry. He said, Was he in us and now? I told you earlier there are many churches, there are many symbols, there are many denominations. There are many places of worship. But it's of what I do pay or for Lokwa, call it lower or for Lokwa, just in Noah or for Lokwa, and while I call your lower. And many of them do not know about this mystery. Upon no one, you yea, oh, in the lake, you can read the Old Testament. When the Tamaja Molai, can you see this now that if a man understands the whole of the Old Testament without getting to the New Testament revelation, he will miss this mystery of Christ in you. And it can still perish and go to hell. Oh, while the year bang by we pay in your name, man, if I go go, my gem will lie like that. You pay ruin a bear one name, and if I my gem will put to at your wind, you let the Christian know why it will go ye and a bear only see because it's not right. There are people that are still sacrificing animals, there are people that are still killing lambs or whatever. They will shed the blood, they will go through all the ceremonies of the Old Testament thinking that that will make them to be acceptable in the sight of God. They keep on to that knowledge and they miss this mystery. The message or the subject of the ministry. And those people, if they die in that condition, they can be following that Old Testament. They overlook the mystery in Christ, coming into us, saving us, reconciling us with God. They can still die and go to hell. And what can what you think by Wure, to one for Dragota, to one Rubo, to one Rupe, a lay in Yoga, one la. Waro ipe ti amba tin te le gbogbo aye ye to wa ninu majemu lai 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 ko ja sinu majemu tutu ki won mo un ijile yi pe christian wonu wa christian gba wa la ti o so wa di ominira iru awon eniyan be pelu imo ti won ninu majemu lai lai yi la je pe won gba jesus laye ki o gba won la won si le lo sorun apare the people that do quiet time awon kan wa ti won si akoko ida ti read the bible every day o jojuma ni won ka bi daily family devotion every day won ni pepe bi lo jojuma but then what they understand from the bible does not lead them to open their heart unto christ to come in and if you study the whole bible without discovering this mystery hidden knowledge that Christ can come into you and live in you and dwell in you and be the one that is strengthening you to overcome all the temptations of life. A person may have family devotions every morning and every evening and still die and go to hell if Christ does not come into you to dwell in you. There are people that will learn faith from the Bible. They will learn how to get this from the Bible, how to get healing, how to get money, how to get business going, how to get a lot of things. But never forget, my friend, all the Old Testament people knew of all those promises. They could get healing. They could get deliverance. They could get money. But all that they miss is God, the Almighty, coming to dwell in them. A man may study about faith and know all about faith that he will be able to get material things if Christ does not come into you. The hope of glory. You miss it all and you will miss heaven. I want to no one ma be a sen lo igba gbo lati gba eleyi lowo olorun ka gba ewo san ka gba isiki ka gba iboko yanturu sugbon oye ti pe olorun olorun olodumare o wa sinu eniyan nipase jesus christi lati gba wahala oye eleyi ko ye won sugbon won lo ye gbogbo awon nkan ti an lo nipa igba gbo ma se gba gbo awon eniyan ma je mu lai lai awon na ma be a sen lo igba gbo lati gba ewo san lati gba iboko sugbon ti e ba ni gbogbo imaye la je ko ni imo pe jesus wa nipa o de eniyan o ti wa sinu aye wa lati ba wa laja sodo olorun iru eniyan be le ku ki won ki o ti lo sorun apade there were people that learn so much about fasting and if you are learning about fasting, you understand. You get more information about fasting in the Old Testament than the New Testament. A person can fast, a person can pray, a person can go to the mountain, a person can go to the valley. There are people that learn about all that, but they do not know about Christ coming into them, living in them, energizing them, making them to overcome temptation, making them to overcome sin. Christ has not come into them. They do not have any hope of glory. If you know all about fasting, all about the Old Testament knowledge about fasting, but you do not know 
this New Testament revelation, Christ in you, the hope of glory. You can fast and get a lot of things, and yet you can perish and go to hell. I want me to to get pay on to one bill of rugen, you pay what pay money, pay be as you live that way. Get in software, to buy pay money, pay away. Why am I put on in no magic on lie lie? Dear lowly money, pay in no magic on to 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 buy away in your way. Why the loss of your key? To walk by way, to walk by the road, to walk lost you pet a leg, to walk lost you get a leg. That's the little round by go go and walk along all around. Like me, my pay Christy le one way ye one. Ko fun an lokun, ko fun an lagbara, la ti bo ri ese, ko so wan di ase go, o gwe ima lo le man, ni pa awe ati adora, su ba ti oko ba ni ima, jesu tin so ni di o minera, ti o ba kusi ko yi, o ti ni lo son wak pa di. If you have the ministry of a preacher, what's the subject of the ministry, the preaching of Christ, coming into man, and being the hope of glory? Ti o ba ba e se enra se, we wa su yin re, ki ni koko e se enra se na, o na ni pe Christi, o di e ni ya. If you have the ministry of reconciliation as a soul winner, as a person that will evangelize, what is the message and the subject of the ministry? Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you have the ministry of a leader in the house fellowship, what is the message and the subject of the ministry? Christ in you, the hope of glory. Ti o ba ni se ran se adari da ko ju ile ninu ida ko ju ile kini koko iwa su re na o na ni pe Christ ni no yin re ti ogo. If you have the ministry of counseling other people, what is the message in counseling? Christ in you, the solution to all problems and the hope of glory. Ti o ba ni se ran se ki agba ni ni moran kini koko iwa su to ye ko wa ninu igba ni ni moran re ti awon elomiran iye ni pe Christ ni no yin if you have the call of a missionary, what is the message of ministry for the missionary? Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you have we teach all other things in the Bible and we don't teach how people can open their hearts, have Christ within them. All the teaching we are teaching will be in vain. Ti a ba ni gogo awon ikan ni miran ninu bibeli ti a ko ko awon eniyan bi won se nle si oka won paya ti Kristi ki o wole gogo ila alawa asan ni yo ja ti. Let's go to point two the style of the ministry. E je ki a lo si ipa ikeji ila na fun ise ran se na. In verse 28 of Colossians chapter 1, whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. Ni ese ikeji di logo ko lo se ori kin ni eni ti a wa n wa su re. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. Remember the message yesterday on Sunday on obedience to the Great Commission. Then I told you about how to evangelize. And I told you point one in evangelization is that you will live the life. You will preach the gospel by the life you live. That's what we sing about, what we are talking about already in Song number 115. How to reach the masses men of every birth. For an answer, Jesus gave the key. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. How to say what I go to the earth, Jesus will pay. Oh, the world is hungry for the living bread. Lift the Savior up for them to see. Trust him and do not doubt the words of him that said, I will draw all men unto me. Ah, O Ben Gaye, Ponje Yewa, Beje Su, Soke, Kiwan Leri, Bagbo, Masi, Meji, Sior, or Nan, Mofan, was your domi. Don't exalt the preacher. I told you yesterday, don't exalt the pew. Preach the gospel simple, full and free. Prove him, and you will find that promise is true. I will draw all men unto me. Masi ba lo rega, moti so le ifu yin la nan, a ti pe 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 lu re. Wa asu yin re re, pi pe lo fe, to wo, wo yo ma pe, yo ti to ni le ri nan, ngo fa wa so do mi. Lift him up by living as a Christian ought to live. 
ki Jesu hun nipa bi o se nbe ja aye to ye ki christian ni gbe let the world in you the savior see je ki aye ri Jesu nu re then men will gladly follow him who wants thought i'll draw all men unto me gbogbo eniyan yo si tele ni ti o wi pe won o fa won sodo mi lift him up be it's okay lift him up be it da by the life you live lift up the lord jesus christ nipa e da ye ti o n gbe gbe ju jesu oluwa ga that's the very beginning of preaching the gospel eleyi ni ibere wi wa si rere without being converted you cannot get other people to be converted la je pe wo di atobi o ko le ran awon elemira lowo lati di atobi without living a new life you cannot introduce other people to have christ in them the hope of glory la e gbe ja yi otun o le dari awon eyan imira lati ni jesu ti se re ti o go ninu awon Then living the Christian life is not the end of ministry, the end of service. You must go beyond that living that life and now you must preach the message of Christ. Sugba bi gbe ja ye Christian ni eleyi ko ni so nso igbe nti Olorun nbe re lowo wa sugba o lati to la inu re lati fi wa su na fun awon eniyan. All the apostles live the life Paul apostle li gbe igbe aye na he lived a holy godly righteous life o gbe igbe aye mi ma igbe aye wa bi olorun and yet he said we preach warning every man teaching every man in all wisdom si be o tun wa so pe eni ti a wa nwa su re ti an ki lo fun olukuluku eniyan ti a si nko olukuluku eniyan the preaching has two branches iwasu o ni eka meji number one branch is warning the other branch is teaching eka akoko ni kiki lo fun awon eniyan ika ekeji ni kiki kiko awon eniyan warning appears negative teaching appears positive ikilo o da bi eni pe nti ko bara mu sugba kiko ni o da bi pe nti o mo ri eniya and yet those who work with electricity will know the necessity of the negative terminal and the positive terminal awon ti o si sise na manamana won ma ni pe olokun meji na e to lewu ninu ati to je pe ko si be lewu ninu in our preaching there is a negative warning there is a positive teaching ninu iko ni wa iko ni ele to ma nbakun gbe wa e ti ki si ibakun gbe wa and we find that all through the examples of preaching and teaching in the bible gbogbo apere ti a si re nipa ikon ni ati ito ni ninu bibeli ni a si ti re eleyi and here paul the apostle says warning every man ni ni paul apostle si so pe an ki lo fo olukuluku eni he doesn't give warning to only a group of people and teaching to only a group of people he gives warning and teaching the combination to every man in all the wisdom of god ko fi ki lo fun egbe awon kan ko ma fi ikon ni fun egbe awon kan sugba ati ki lo ati to ati ikon ni gbogbo re lo papo to si fi fun olukuluku eniyan there are some people that will pick only the positive teaching but they will drop the negative warning but you need both to perfect you in Christ awon kan wa to je wi pe e to mo ri eni ya ninu iwasu ni won gbe laruge ti won yo fi ki lo ile to nba ni wi sile sugba oni lo mejeji lapapo fun ira se pe awon eniyan mi mo when we talk about warning we talk about instruction and counsel in view of sin and impending judgment nigba ti a ba nso nipa eko ikilo a nso nipa gbigba ni ni moran a si nse ito ni pelu erongba ninu okan wa nipa ese ati idajo ti o ro dede act chapter 20 verse 31 isi awon apostle ori ogun ese iko kan di ni ogbon therefore watch and remember that by the space of 3 years i cease not to warn everyone i cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears nitori na e ma sora ti e si ma ranti pe fun odun meta emi ko dekun ati ma fi omi je ki lo fun olukuluku le osan ati le oru you see there is one in there ori pe ki lo wa ni be it is part of teaching ara iko ni si ni in second corinthians chapter 5 ninu corinthians keji ori karun verse 11 ese iko kan la knowing therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men but we are made manifest unto god and i trust also are made manifest in your consciences nitori na bi a wa ti mo eru oluwa awa yi eniyan ni okan pada sugbon a fi wa han fun olorun mo si gbagbo pe a si fi wa han li okan yin pelu first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 14 thessalonica kin ni ori karun ese ikerin la now we exhort you brethren warn them that are unruly comfort the feeble minded support the weak and the patient toward all men warn them that are unruly that are rebellious that are disobedient sugbon awa nbe yin ara ti e ma ki lo fun awon ti se alaigboran 
ema tu awon ala ilokan ninu e ma ran awon ala ilera lowo e ma musuru fun gbogbo eniyan e ti lo fun awon ala igoran awon ala gidi in colossians chapter 3 verse 16 i will see the admonition the teaching the positive instruction ni kolosi ori keta ese ikerin di logun nibe lati wa ri awon ito ni awon iru ni soke ni e to dara nipa let the word of christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in the psalms and the hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord e je ki oro kristi ma gbe inu yin le opolopo ninu ogbon gogo ti e ma ko ti e si ma gba ara yin niyanju ninu samu ati orin yin ati orin emi e ma fi ori ofe korin le okan yin si oluwa jesus wants people of the false doctrine of the pharisees and the scribes jesus ki awon eyan ni lo nipa ekeko ti awon eko eke ti awon pharisee ati awon sadducee he want the errors of the false prophets o ki lo fun awon to n teti si nipa awon eke woli he want people of judgment to come o ki lo fun awon eyan nipa idajo to nbo he want and said except you repent you will likewise perish o ki lo fun o ke gbanja re pe bi ko se pe eyin ba ro luku adagbo gbo yin ni o se bi gbe be gege he want that except that we endure to the end we cannot be saved o ki lo pe bi a ko ba fori titi dopun a ko ni lela he want us to be aware of covetousness o ki lo fun wa pe ki a ma sa fun oju kokoro and all the apostles of the lord jesus christ also gave out warning gbogbo awon apostle jesus christ ni awon na ki lo teaching consists of preaching consists of both teaching positively and warning negatively e ki lo o ni se pelu pe ki a ko ni lodi si nkan ti o lewu ki a si to aiwa su si to o so ni pa pe ki a ko ni ni pe nkan ti o mo ri eniya now the third point the sum of the ministry ipa eketa bayi akojo po ise ranse na what's the objective of the ministry kini ile pa ise ranse na what's the goal of the purpose of the ministry kini ete tabi ile pa ise ranse na why are we declaring the subject of the ministry or the style of the ministry ki lo de ti an so nipa koko ise ranse ati ilana ise ranse ti an so ani the latter part of that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus the, it is to build up to mature to perfect the people of God it is not enough to bring us to Christ the ministry must bring us to perfection in Christ. Koto lati mu awon eniyan wa sodo Kristi, ise ranse ni o ye ki o mu wa di pipe ninu Kristi. When we talk of perfection. Nigba ti a ba nson nipa pipe. There are many people that misunderstand that word. Opolopo awon eniyan ni o ye ni won si pipe yi tumo. And they do not understand what perfection really means. O ye nti pipe yi si tumo si ko ye won. But look at Luke chapter 6 verse 40. Sugba wo Luke ori ikefa ese ogoji. Luke chapter 6 verse 40. Luke ori ikefa ese ogoji. The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Eni ti an ko ki ju oluko re lo, sugbo lukuluku eni ti o ba pe yo da bi oluko re. From this passage of scripture spoken by the Lord Jesus Christ himself what is perfection ninu gbo lo ti jesu oluwa fun ara re so yi kini a le pe ni pipe perfection simply means becoming fully completely like christ pipe wa tun mo si pe ki a da bi christi lekun rere everyone that is perfect shall be as his master olukuluku eni ti o ba pe yo da bi oluko re that's all god is expecting from us o nti olorun beri lowo wa ni that is that is the purpose of ministry that is the sum the climax of the ministry elesi ni ete tabi akojopo sonso ise ranse na to make every one of us be fully completely like Christ. He only saw Luku Luku Olu Wogwa Wala Papo Dabi Christi. He says that we might present every man perfect in Christ. Oh, so if we can't let go, Luku Luku and the name man in Christi, we can't. That's why we preach. That's why we labor. That's why we pray. In Colossians chapter four verse twelve. In no Colossians, we read that he said, "Kejila." A purpose to his one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers. That ye may be, may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. A prafa eni ti se okani no ni inase Christi ti ni onfi wa ya jagbadura ni ba gogo po ni ti eni ti o le duro ni tukpe 
ati ni kikun ninu gogo ife olorun in what power and what strength can we do this o ku ati agbara wo la fi le se leyi that is what is the strength of this kind of ministry iyan ni wi pe kin ni oku ise iru iranse bi eleyi go for the preacher for the people fun awon ni wa su ati awon eyan tin go church members and for church leaders fun awon omo ijo ati awon adari ijo what is the strength of the ministry kin ni oku ise iranse na let us look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 29 Eje ka wo Colossians ori kini ese e kokan de ni ogbon Where on to I also labor striving according to his working which worketh mightily in me Eyi ti emi nse laala ti mo si njija ka de fun pelu gaga bi si agbara tin si agbara si se gidigidi ninu mi The work uh, the labor that is the word labor in Greek means to work and toil almost to the point of exhaustion ni gbo lohun ti se laala yi ni gbo lohun ti awon greeki o tun ma si pe ki a se laala ki o ti le je wi pe gbogbo oku to wa ninu wa o dabi eni ko pe re tan and yet we praise the lord it is not in our own strength as iyan olorun logo tori pe oku wa ko la fi se leyi according to god's working according to god's might which worketh mightily in us an se laala yi gege bi si agbara ati pa ki o si se ninu agbara olorun ni wa god requires of you he supplies the grace to do it gbogbo ti olorun ba bere lowo ore ni yo fun e lori ope lati se all the demand of god upon our lives he gives us the strength the power the might the grace the enablement to do it gbogbo ti olorun ba bere lowo wa ipa ti anilo okun ti anilo ori ope ti anilo lati se ni yo fi fun wa pelu he tells you to forgive people he gives you the grace so ba so pe ki o da rije awon eyan yo fun e lori ope he tells you to live a holy life he gives you the power so ba bere je aye wa mi ma lowo ore yo fun e ni agbara he tells you to be like christ he gives you the enablement to be like christ so ba kan pa fo lati gbe je aye bi christi yo fun lagbara lati le se if he calls you to perfection in christ He gives you the know-how. He gives you the grace and the power to be perfect in Christ. Ti o ba so pe ti o je fi pe ninu Christi, gbogbo ona ti wa gba pe ati gbogbo agbara to ninu lati di fi pe ni yo fi fun o. Whatever he demands of us, he gives us the strength, the grace and the power to do it. O nko o to ba nbere lowo wa a fun wa ni okun agbara ipa ati ori ope lati se. How do we get that strength? Ba o la se le ri okun yi gba. How do we get that power? Ba o la se le ri agbara yi gba. By praying unto the Lord. Ni pa gbigba dura si Oluwa. That's why I've always been emphasizing in the church that immediately after the message there should be no announcement we go on our knees or we stand up and we pray and we pray through idi ti mo bi ma ke gbogbo ni gba gbogbo ni pe ninu ijo leyin gba ti a ba ti pari wa su ki gbogbo eniyan ko gbadura ko gbodo si fi lo ya lo di de duro ni tabi okunle ko gbadura agbayan ju ki o to lo if the coordinator is going to get strength to be able to fulfill the ministry he needs time to pray ti alako so ba fe okun lati le mu ise ran se re di pipe o ni lo lati ya ko ko ti gbadura so now these they are going to have the strength to do the will of god and to obey the word of god we need time to pray ti awon adari agbegbe tabi awon asoju awon obirin ti won ba fe se ase pe ninu ise ran se ti olorun fi fun won an lati ye opolopo akoko sile lati gbadura the ushers and the members of the choir are going to have the strength to be able to obey god and follow through the will of god we need time to pray ti awon egbe akorin awon asona ti an ba fe ni agbara lati le tele gbogbo ti olorun bere lowo won an lati ya akoko sile lati gbadura the nursing mothers are going to be strong in the lord and they are going to be able to face the challenges of the world the challenges that come against them according to the will and the word of god they must give time to pray ti awon iya bi amo ti won ba fe ni agbara ninu olorun ti o si fe doju ko gbogbo ipe ni jato ba de ba won ninu aye yi won lati ya akoko sile lati gbadura the people who are zeal us to help other people counsel other people lead other people if they themselves are going to prepare to get to heaven and they are not going to send people to the kingdom of god and miss the kingdom of god themselves they will need time to pray ti awon ti o ni itara ati ife okan lati ran awon eyan lowo lati gba won ni moran ti ru awon eyan won yi ti won ko ba fun awon fe ma fi awon eyan so wo si jobo olorun ka won gan ko je eni ti o ni bi kan kan re iru awon eyan be lati ya koko sile lati gbadura the strength of the ministry is in praying o ku ise ran se na wa ninu adura bi gba because the word of god says he that waits upon the lord shall renew the strength nitori oro olorun so wi pe awon ti o ba duro di oluwa yo tun agbara won se they shall mount up with wings as eagles wa yo fi iye go ke gege bi ti they shall run and not be weary wa yo si sare ki yo re won they shall walk and not 
something. Let's rise up on our feet. Already you have known about the subject of the ministry. The style of the ministry. The sum of the ministry. And the strength of the ministry. Now we can do nothing. Because it is not by power, it is not by might, it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Only as we pray, only as we wait upon the Lord, shall we receive strength to be able to fulfill the will of God in our lives. Rise up and pray to the Lord. As Christ. Coming to you, that's the hope of glory. Your life will never be glorious until Christ dwells within you and moves within you and lives within you. Have any hope of making heaven at last and sharing the glories of the world to come. Let Christ come into you and remain in you. Let Christ come into you talk to the lord in prayer in your messages in your preaching in your evangelization do you want do you preach do you teach are you presenting christ to people so christ will come into them and as they get converted are you making sure that you are getting matured yourself and you are maturing and perfecting these people in Christ? In Jebio se uwa su ufu wa, njo vi jesu lo wa, ki wa kiyo si ma deni igbala. Ya wa ten deni igbala, nge wa fura la re, umu a la re, da gba ni nwa lo ronbi. 